Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lasty here. Feast your eyes upon this team right here. I thought instead of going through each player and leaving you in suspense, I would just come right out with it and show you the whole team straight away. Pretty beast, isn't it? Let's go through the team. Um, first off, we've got the new 86 in form uh, Gianluigi Buffon in goal, who for me has been god hands what he's crazy keeper 67k he's probably gone a little bit down now I bought him a couple of days ago um, those stats right there not obviously he's got a team of the year version available but uh, I didn't buy him at the time because I didn't have the coins um, after buying a certain purple striker which is at the top of your screen um, but I'm thinking maybe I need to try and get the team of the year one because if this guy's god hands then I can't imagine what the other one's going to be. Now left back we've got the old faithful, good old Jordi Alba. He's been in a couple of my videos now. Um, I really get on well, well with him. As I say, I think he's one of the fastest players I've played with on Ultimate Team. And decent all-round stats right there. Partner him, we've got Xavi Martinez, who again has been in a few of my videos before. But it's just because he's such a solid centre-back. Decent pace and amazing defending stats. Um, don't worry about the prices guys, they will all be on your screens uh, as I'm going through this video, so that's just a reminder for myself to do some editing. Um, we've got Team of the Year Chiellini, who is someone I haven't used before and hasn't featured in any of my videos. 84 pace is amazing for a centre back, 95 defending and 94 heading is quite cray, that shit is cray. Um, 200k, that shit cray. Oh, I'm such a lyricist. Um, but yeah, amazing stats right there and brilliant centre back. Although I have found that he, I think he might have like attacking work rate or something. I'm not quite sure, but he seems to like fuck it up a little bit sometimes and just run up the pitch when they're trying to play a through ball, which isn't the best. But he's got you know he's decent and um, you know he's a bit of a rock at the back sometimes. You can't beat him in the in the air especially. But uh, and then again. Abate, we've had him before. I wish there was a blue card in Serie A for right back, but unfortunately not. Um, I wish there was a blue Abate, to be honest. That would be pretty solid. But uh, yeah, again, decent player all round. Only two star skills, but he's a right back. What more do you need? Um, then my two central defensive mids. I've, obviously, as you can see, I've switched up my formation from my last video. Um, but we've got Giuseppe, uh, not Giuseppe Rossi, Daniele De Rossi. Um, who was 81 grand and he's very solid. I I like him as a centre defensive mid and he'd also be very good as a centre mid as well. Three star skills, uh, good long shot and good defending stats. Well, good stats across the board there as you can see. Make him a viable option for any uh, Serie A team out there or Italian team. Uh, to partner him, well, to partner the left hand side of my team we've got the team of the year, Xavi Alonso, 93 rated, which is outrageous. Uh, higher rated than the regular Ronaldo, which is, I think, wrong. It shouldn't be like that. But 70 pace, he does feel quite slow um, for a midfielder. 85 shooting is good. 97 passing is brilliant. Um, 85 dribbling is also very good. But two star skills really lets him down. Uh, I thought he was going to be three star because I've never used him before. And unfortunately he isn't, which means I am going to sell him. Because I don't get on with him too well. Um, 93 defending for a midfielder is crazy. And 86 heading is also very good. So he, you can see that the stats on his card do warrant that 93 rating. But... Um, for the 199k that I paid for him, I think I might replace him with Kadira, the purple one that's just come out, or I don't know, maybe someone different, we'll see, maybe Chavi or someone like that. Um, but that is that. Our right hand side, we have a silver cam, and that is El Sharawi. I just re bought him again, so um, obviously that's why he hasn't got many games played. 59k. Um, I sold the striker version that I've got for like 65 or something like that, and then re bought him in the cam position. Uh, good stats overall for a silver, 5 star weak foot, 5 star skills, so fun to play with, um, definitely warrants his place in this team and someone needed a, a strong link to that striker that we've got coming up there but I'll talk about him a bit in a little bit. Um, you've seen Ozil before, I've moved him to Cam from centre forward from my last video and I think he plays a bit better here because he is a midfielder really um, but he still gets quite far up the pitch which is good, um, 97 passing and 95 dribbling are his main attributes but 4 star skills and a nice shot also go towards that. 
Also, you saw Karen Benzema last video, but he he makes a return because he might be the most clinical finisher that I've had in Ultimate Team. Um, 91 pace is blistering, 93 shooting is crazy, <laughs> and dribbling and heading is also very good on him. Um, obviously, you know that Urza was 200k and Benzema was 369 giggity. Um, now, we're on to the GAM, the God Amongst Men of our team. Um, Ibrahimovic, I man of the match. Um, I thought this would be, I could have got the team of the year one if I'd have saved up yet more money, but I, don't, I couldn't quite afford it. Uh, I also kind of wanted to try out this purple one because I know they're very current at the moment. Um, current, purple, black currents are purple. Oh, um, Ibrahimovic, 96 shooting, 91 dribbling, 88 heading, and his pace has increased to 83, which is quite good. Uh, five star skills. Uh, he is six foot five, which makes him a man beast. And as you can see there, he cost me 860,000 coins, which is an awful lot of dollar. Um, to be honest with you, he's not that brilliant. So he seems the same as his regular card. If I'm absolutely honest, I really wanted him to be something completely special, but his regular card is that anyway. So what we're going to do is, in fact, we're going to send him to the trade pile. I'm going to sell him, and I'm going to buy another beast that should fit this team pretty well. And I'll be back in a minute, guys. <laughs> so I'm back. As you saw, I threw my toys out the pram, and I decided that I was just going to get rid of Ebra because he didn't feel like uh, the same. Well, he felt exactly the same as his regular card, to be honest. So he's gone. As you can see on your screens now, he cost... Well, he, I sold him for 809k, which is quite a big loss from what I bought him for, but oh well. Um, and we replaced him with Team of the Year, Di Natale, who, as you can see, just looks better in this squad. You know, 370k, which is, again, quite a lot of money, but if you just take a little look at those stats right there, let me get them up right now, there we go, 88 pace. 93 shooting, 85 passing, 90 dribbling, and not particularly good defending or heading, but no one gives a shit about that. So, this is the team. I'm going to show you goals. Obviously, I've got some Ebra goals, um, and I'll show you some goals with the whole team, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've got an awful lot of goals to show you today. First one there was a long shot there from Daniele De Rossi. He's got them in the bag. He can do them quite a lot. He's only got 79 shooting, but decent player. And just to show you that the other CDM that we got in here, Xavi Alonso, can also do the same sort of thing. Um, they've both got fairly high shooting. I think Xavi Alonso's is 85. Um, so both decent players. El Sharawi, what definitely warrants his pace in the team. Um, even though he's a silver with all these blue and purple players, just because of the sort of goals that he's firing in here. One of the best players I've used on Ultimate Team, for sure. I mean, this just shows it. Look at that volley. Look at the distance that that's from. Just take, It's got the power, the accuracy. I mean, he's a silver player with like 73 shooting or something, and that that's just not normal. Look at that. He's special. Um, next goal we've got here is one from Mesut Ozil. Nice cutback from Benzema and a powerful finish in, across the goalkeeper. Um, and just this is the same one from my last video but I only got the one goal with Ozil on this team and just in case you missed it that's a pretty crazy goal I've scored with Ozil so um, yeah there's that one right there nice little replay coming up to show you just how far out and um, sweetly he struck that half volley there Christ that's a beast of a shot um, Benzema couple of goals with him because he's not the star attraction of our team today and decent finish he's got the shot power and as I said probably one of the most clinical finishers uh, I've used in Ultimate Team um, nice volley there scissor volley uh, I've got one of them coming up with uh, Di Natale as well in a little while but we'll show this one again just because the technique that he used lovely I love it when you hit them volleys in but we are now on to Ibra's goals and the first one first couple here just to show you that his weak foot four star was actually pretty good um, he scored some goals with his weak foot if you're in the area especially you haven't really got to worry um, nice bit of skill there and this is the sort of thing you can do online just like his pace has increased enough so that you can do a couple of skills and then just burst forward past the defense and you're all good 
And volleys like that is something that Ibra is never ever going to miss. He's got them in the bag. Um, I forgot to have a look at his in-game stats, which really annoys me now that I've sold him. But if he hits a shot like that, it's always going to go in. But I, I just couldn't find that shooting with Ibra was some, like long shots. I love my long shots, um, and I just couldn't find that it actually he was particularly useful at doing them. Like there'd be one, they'd always go like that, sort of low across the ground, and they'd just m like mess it up all the time. But he is good for some acrobatics, and uh, the previous goal you saw there was like off a rebound of his own shot. This was sort of the same thing, and then we've got one more here. Nice Rabona by uh, Pato, and then hmm, nice little volley there. Um, so they are Ibra's goals. Um, he is special, but his normal card is special, so I don't see any reason why you would spend 800,000 coins when you could spend 50 and get just a good a player. Um, Nice little chip here. We're on to Di Natale's goals. I just find him to be, like Benzema, extremely uh, clinical finisher. There's that goal that I was talking about right there. Nice little scissor finish. Him and Benzema cost about the same amount of coins, and they are both beastly. Um, they know where the back of the net is. Like Shots like this, it just they just happen uh, all the time, very regularly. You can rely upon... When you hit B, to the shot is going to go in the back of the net. As you can see, I'm just throwing loads of goals in here to show you. He's got decent volleys as well. I know that was quite close up, but to watch that ball come over and then hit it is pretty good. And I think this might be the final goal. Um, just an absolute rocket into the top corner. I hope you've liked this video. There's been a lot of goals, a lot of good players, a lot of efforts gone in. So if you could drop me a like and a comment on who your favourite player in this team was, that would be great. And I will see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.